guys so first off i'm starting by applying the elf all over cover stick and this one is in the shade apricot beige just to kind of like help my eyeshadow to go on smoothly without having any like skips or creases now i'm going in with the cryolan 15 eyeshadow palette and this one is i'm combining two shades and that's the mauve or mauve and the rosewood shade and i'm just gonna apply it on top of my crease kind of like then because that's gonna be like our transitioning shade and then i'm going in with the wet and wild mega eyes and this one is called wicked conkin 253b and it's more like a black eyeshadow with a little bit of shimmer in it and this is what actually we're gonna be able to create the whole floating type of like cut crease with so i just have to make sure that i actually blend it in very well because i don't want it to be a too dark as well so i just have to make sure it doesn't look just like a one light type of thing so i just have to create that fade in effect so using the same uh, elf concealer the same shade that we used for priming our eyelid that's what I'm using to cut my crease. So now I'm going in with the Royal Party from Essence Cosmetics. And I'm going in with about two shades. One of them is called Better Bling. And the other eyeshadow is called like Gold Chains. Just kind of like dab it on to create this that kind of like rose gold type of look then here as usual I'm going in with my favorite eyeliner from LA girl very black gel liner just quickly applying my mascara on my top lashes and now I'm quickly installing my eyelashes once that's done I'm going in with the MAC Match Master Foundation and also I forgot to show you guys I primed my face with the LA Girl Face Primer as usual now making sure that I blend in that foundation all over my face spreading it all over evenly Now, as you can see here, I'm just quickly highlighting underneath my eyes as well as the bridge of my nose and my chin and my cupid's bow and of course my forehead. Quickly taking my beauty blender. Just make sure guys that whenever you're using your beauty blender even to apply your foundation, make sure it's at least a bit damp so it doesn't absorb all of your foundation and also so that your foundation and your concealer can go in smoothly now i'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and i'm basically just cleaning out that concealer so it doesn't look too harsh or uneven now using the same shade as we used on top that's what i'm applying on the bottom lash line Quickly going in with the mascara on the lower lashes. Now I'm just quickly going in with the powder and this one is a Ben I banana powder just to kind of like set those areas that we highlighted using the cream concealers. Now I'm quickly grabbing my Milani Minerals Loose Powder and this one is in a shade Natural Tan just to kind of like contour the areas that I need to contour like the size of my nose and on the hollows of my cheeks.
Now I'm just quickly brushing off all the excess powder. Now I'm quickly going in with the Miss London in a shade Coco powder and I'm basically just kind of like bringing in some color back into the center of my face because that powder was making my face look a little bit too white. Maybe I overdid it with the powder but that's the reason why I was going in with that kind of like warm shade. Now here I'm going in with the Sun Kiss Bronze Architect palette and I'm going to use those two shades and that one is the blush and the highlight. So now I'm grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Lovely which actually looks more like a little bit of pink and brown shade in it perfect match now quickly going in with my LA girl concealer and this one is in a shade fawn to kind of contour my lips and that's about it you guys i certainly hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to subscribe comment like and share until next time bye bye